So some of you may want to know what happens when I go on vacation, right? We're making food for our dog. So you can see here that I have a big thing of dog food and I make two of these before I go out of town for three to seven days. I'll make it enough for there to be, one is enough for three days. So I'll make enough so that my husband or my daughter or whoever is taking care of the dogs has plenty of food. So I just made it in my crock pot, as you guys can all see, and I will link above the video where I make the dog food. But I also wanted to show you a few other things that I do. So I'm gonna move these out of the way. And I'm gonna ask for some volunteers, which would be my, my little pups. So let me go get them. And do you guys like my little, my Gentastic Journey little smock thing? <laughs> this just keeps the dog hair off of me and I thought it was super cute. So let me get the dogs. So this is Charlie, as you guys all know, and he's up in his favorite little spot, which is above my husband's chair. He's wondering why it is that I'm standing here. He's like, what are we gonna do next? What are we gonna do next? Let me share with you what we're gonna do next. So I am going to bring him here as my little model. And he knows what these are. These are cotton rounds. And I use these to wipe their eyes. If I have other Cavalier owners here, these dogs have weepy eyes. These are super helpful. And I also use BioTrue and I will link this below. I buy this either at Costco, they have large packs of them, or I can buy them on Amazon as well. And these are fantastic. It's just, it's a saline solution for contacts, but it's all natural. And so this is very helpful for their eyes. And it also prevents a lot of the staining. Let me show you how I do this with my little friends. And I will do this before I go out of town. And depending on who is watching the dogs, if it's my daughter, she will do this as well. I do this about every day, every other day, and it just keeps their eyes looking less stained. And it also helps them from scratching at their faces, scratching at their eyes. So I just pour a little of this onto the, come here, Charlie. Don't want you going anywhere, buddy. Can you sit? Can you sit? Thank you. All right. I know I'm going slow. Not his favorite process. This is a little bit cold because it comes from this bottle, but then, come here, Charlie. Then I just take this and I just wipe it on his eyes. It's a little hard to do when he's not facing me, but I just wipe it on his eyes. It gets a little bit brown. And then because it's a cotton round, I can just turn it around and I can do the other eye. And I just go under his eye. I try not to get to his eye. And because I do this so often, this takes just a few seconds and it's a great way to get their eyes nice and clean. And Charlie's so pretty. He's such a pretty boy. Yes, you are such a pretty boy. So I do that with all three Cavaliers. Once, once a day is plenty. Are you all done? We're such a good boy. Yes, you were such a good boy. And he usually thinks he gets a treat once he's been up here, but we'll give that to him after I make the video. So I'm going to put him down, put him back on his little perch over here. And then of course, Molly is very interested in, in what we're all up to. You want to say hi, Molly? You are kind of the camera hog. This is little Miss Molly. She just loves to be on camera, huh? Do you want, you want them to want us to show you how we do Molly's eyes too? Molly, because she's got so much white, her stained eyes look the worst, but I think she looks pretty good right now. She looked pretty sad when we first rescued her, but she has a beautiful little face and she's like, why can't I look at you, mama? <laughs> You're gonna look at the camera. And so. Her eyes are getting so much better. There's almost nothing on the little cloth, but that's little Molly. Say hi, Moz. This is our little deaf dog. So she's deaf, but she's beautiful and she's a lot of fun. She absolutely loves my husband. So then last thing I wanted to show you that I do before I have someone watch the dogs. For those of you that I haven't told this to, we have one child left in our house and she's not a child, she's an adult. Uh, she graduated from college a couple years ago, wanted to save some money. And so she is moving out uh, this month in a couple of weeks. That's exciting for her. <laughs> it's a little sad for me and all the pups, they all love her as well but I'm sure she'll be back to see them at least and watch them maybe when we go out of town. But we do take our, our dogs with us when we RV, so it's very seldom that 
we're really out of town and we take maybe one trip a year where we're flying somewhere and we can't take the dogs. Let me show you what else I do to help people. So when Amanda moves out, we found someone, a friend of mine from church, has a daughter that is willing to stay overnight with these dogs because these are some very <laughs> spoiled dogs. They have not been to a kennel because we have five adult kids. Somebody has always been willing to watch them, stay with them overnight. They love people and so it's very hard on them when their favorite people, <laughs> which is me and my husband, when we go out of town, they get pretty bummed out and so it's a lot more helpful if somebody could stay here with them. So because the labs and all the Cavaliers sleep with us, the labs have um, beds below our bed. Definitely a little spoiled, so we do get people that are willing to sleep overnight with them. So let me show you what else I do to help people that are watching the dogs because this can be hard. I try and make it as simple as possible. So I'm gonna turn the camera around and show you. The next thing I do is I label everything so that they know what needs to be fed to the dogs. So as an example, this is Cosequin. Uh, it is for joint supplement. Hazel, our chocolate lab, has some joint pain. This helps her and so they get this just nightly. So the lab, obviously just the labs and they get one nightly. In the morning, they get Woofies. This is another hip and joint supplement. It has different ingredients in there. And so this they get in the mornings and just the labs. So it just says labs over here. And then any of my other supplements also I label them. So as an example, this is our COQ10 for the Cavaliers and they get a third of a tablet each. And you're gonna say, how does that work? And I will show you, these are, uh, there's powder in here. So I just separate these at the little joint and then I will put half in each bowl. And then we do the same thing at night. So that is the COQ10. This just helps when I do have like the younger um, teenager watching the dogs, I will take out a few of these supplements and only put in what is required. One other example of a supplement I give the dogs is this canine heart tonic. I get this on Dr. Judy Morgan's website or you can go to Five Leaf Pet Botanicals who makes this and you can purchase this as well, is a very nice tonic because two of the three of the Cavaliers have mitral valve disease. And then it's, they say it's only a matter of time when the third one gets it. Uh, so we're hoping that Molly doesn't get it. She's six years old. They're all five, six, seven, the Cavaliers. So hopefully she doesn't get it. This is super helpful. They also sell a pet protect tonic as well, and that covers kidney, liver, uh, heart as well. So it's kind of a more all-inclusive supplement. So I switch off between those two. Now, let me show you the foods that I feed and what I've made so that they I can go out of town. And here is the dog food. I put a big salmon piece in with the turkey. That's what's in here is turkey and salmon. I also put blueberries and pumpkin. I put a little bit of flaxseed in, ground flaxseed in here. And then some of the supplements that I showed in my first video on how to make homemade dog food in a crock pot. So everything gets made in this little crock pot here. I actually have the just wash her on so the top is in there right now. I have a silicone liner for it that is in the sink and I put some Dawn dish liquid in there and make sure that it's all set for next time I need it. I like to soak it so that it gets all the smells and all the food out of there. Here is that silicone liner I mentioned. So it has a little bit of soap in there right now and it has a little bit of staining, but this I was just washing it out and I thought I'd show you what that looked like. So this goes into the crock pot and it fits perfectly. So, and then in here is the other batch. And this batch is beef. So I have a lot of beef in here and uh, so, my husband and my daughter will have two full things while I'm gone for five days. So they'll have plenty, the dogs won't go hungry, they won't stress out about what needs to happen, and we should be all good. So I hope you found this helpful. If you would, please uh, like and subscribe to my channel. That helps me out a lot, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks so much.